Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition. Got that wrong, didn't I? With mods! Uh, we are currently playing with Nostradamus. And, well, I suppose you could call it Take Two, although we are on Expedition 3 of 6 now. Whereas, uh, if you've caught the last few episodes, we, we've had a bit of a, a polar opposite playthrough on expedition 2 we kept to the same biome we stuck to the arctic and the first time we played it when we well we didn't really die but we definitely failed everything seemed to go wrong whereas the second time we played it everything seemed to go right up until the point of actually being able to recruit a yeti never saw one before never saw one um, well bar from the, the the bad playthrough where it all went Pete Tong, but this time around it was all super duper. So we have a Yeti called Eugene, I believe. Is it Eugene? It's probably not Eugene. I like the name Eugene though, but hey ho, I digress. We've survived and that's all that matters. We're on, as I said, Expedition 3 of 6 and we get to choose from three gloriously exotic locations this time around. We can go to the monstrous jungle, the dead end desert, or the strange drylands. Now, although we do have a lot more attack die available to us as it stands rather than when we first started i'm still not too confident to go to the dead end desert and take on two tombs with mummies in a because that's two fights pretty much we're going to have and if it's not two fights we're going to have it's b two fights we're going to have at some point whilst trekking around as far as the actual uh, uh storage is concerned that's what i'm looking for uh, we're doing okay although it was pointed out to one of my viewers that i don't ride the donkey enough and i agree it it is a character flaw on my behalf i'm afraid i just completely forget that you can ride the donkey as long as you've got the storage capacity available because you obviously lose uh, the ability to to store i think it's a couple of items when you when you mount your donkey that sounds rather naughty but there we go uh, so maybe from now on i'll get into a, a, a good routine of doing it at the start of each expedition and as the space is needed for us we will dismount the donkey and uh carry onwards but hey so as it stands that really only leaves us open to the monstrous jungle or the strange drylands i think the first one i did was a jungle biome which i did off camera when i restarted this so this time around i think we should go to the strange drylands we've got three temples I take that back. We got three shrines, one temple, a mission, and a and a uh, village. The, the villagers don't tend to like us anyway, so I'm not too fussed. I don't think we're missing out on anything. And as it stands, I suppose you could technically count the mission as a village. Yeah. After rising at the break of dawn, I made haste and arrived at the docks. The crew had preparations left to do, so I skimmed some stones on the water. The collector was eager to look upon which instruments we had brought back with us. Now that was very lucky in the last episode, just coming across a couple of instruments in an abandoned camp. We say abandoned camp, it did have some fish. I'd, and again, I'd say drying out, but it was in it, it was in the Arctic, so they were freezing, I guess. But they were fresh nonetheless. So we basically just ransacked a camp. So if someone's probably come back, you know, after doing a little bit of exploring and found that all their food have gone and they've probably died. But let's not look too deeply into that. Let's hand over a horn flute instead. 25 funds. I sold him a horn flute. The collector was eager to set eyes on which instruments we'd brought back with us. Have another horn. Oh, he does like the horn. He does like the horn. And the collector seemed delighted with what we had sold him. Together with his newly purchased goods, he left the harbour in high spirits. A one-legged hunter greeted me this morning. He had heard about my trek and told me about a man-eating hyena called Snarf Rattle. He despised the creature of all his heart and wished to end the monstrosity. A worthwhile purse would await me if I hunted it down and returned its pelt. Uh, we're not really equipped for it, if I'm going to be completely honest. I mean, we've got Edmund, not Eugene. It starts with E. I was close. Um, we've got his unique dice, which does include a taunt. Uh, we've got our soldier who's only got the one die at the moment, although when we upgrade him next, he should get a second. Uh, oh, we've got the extra die on Michel. And then we've got our defence die. In fact, Brother Abraham's looking terrible. He's a kleptomaniac and... Is that superstitious? Paranoid. Oh, dear. We've got three bullets. We've got a few... Sp you know what? Let's do it. Why not? He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our hunt. I mean, you know, if you're going to die, you might as well go down in a blaze of glory. After the effects of my... Oh, the effects? <laughs> After the efforts of my past expeditions, I was delighted as more folks started to show an interest in our ship. Who did I want to recruit? 
More soldiers. More soldiers. They're Scottish soldiers. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. As it stands there, we've we've put a lot of work into Cyrus. I don't feel like I want to give up on him just yet. No, we'll leave it. At long last, our vessel was prepared to leave the harbour. Oh, I better go and buy some stuff then. Oh, so. What do we have? Uh, we're probably going to need some medikits if we're going up against Snarf Rattle. And we're going to have to replenish our torches. So, for you. For you. We've only got 44 left. Uh, we don't need sticky ribs. We've got the spears. There's no bullets. We've got the rope. I think that's about it, really. I mean, I could take the dynamite. It might come in useful. Uh, it's another stack, though. That's my only problem. It's another stack. So that's one, two. Uh, that's only one fresh stack, though, because of the medikit already being in the in the in the uh, in inventory. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't think. Ah, oh, well, I, I suppose I should probably go on my own rules here and not leave anything. Or any money around. There's no need to. That'll do. More stuff to trade. I rejoiced as the vessel was primed to set sail. Oh, we better go then. It is Expedition 3, after all. Oh, we're coming in at the bottom. That's good. I believe it's still only a four-region map. Yep. This should be pretty good. Early this morning, we reached the land of our imminent adventure. The land lay open in front of us like an invitation to an adventure. How can you guarantee our safety? I can't. That's why it's an adventure. If, it, if I could guarantee your safety, it'd be a holiday. Right, let's uh, pop to the storage. We want to get rid of... They're good for trading. Where are they? It doesn't take up a lot of space, but just for the sake of clean inventory, I'm going to drop those into there. Uh, we've got to spare i mean yeah we can mount uh sir francis oh it's only one in inventory you lose that's that's pretty cool all right so do we do we go straight into the middle of the region or do we try and climb this hill and hope to see something 34 to 20 now we'll just have a run in see what's going on where's the party at oh it's a trader I mean, we've got stuff we can trade. I suppose it might be worth having a look-see. Uh, you know what? Before we do that, I just want to pop up on this hill. I've got a sneaking suspicion this region is going to be cut off. Or not. Or not. Uh, we do have the village, though. We entered a native village. Its inhabitants appear to be the best scouts known to this region. We were not only the only visitors to this village. A wandering trader and self-proclaimed beast master had displayed a few mysteriously covered crates. Okay. The villagers observed us with caution. They were kind and offered to help our cause. How bad off are we here? It's standing of zero. All right. Uh, well, let's see what he's got, I guess. A few jewels. Nothing of great excitingness. That's not a word. Uh, if we were to take the jewels, can we swap it out for... I suppose a tone page of fire would be the best one. No? How about abomination? Two tomes for the jewels. Do we need anything else? We've got the medikits. We're not worried about the uh, the blue mushroom for the for looking out of stuff. We're going to get our own teeth. Plenty of torches. We're okay for sanity. You know what? That'll do. Uh, let's rest a little. I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. The village chief offered to prepare a feast to celebrate our visit. However, we would need to hand over one of our animals so it could be, could be prepared as food. Edmund is not an animal. He's 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 a yeti. He's it's the missing link. Surely that's not, at least half, at least half human. Okay, maybe not half. He's 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 quite large and he's got red eyes. But you know, it's look how happy he is. You got you can't. He's got a sparkling personality. No, I'm not going to do that, good sir. We could not spare any of our precious animals. The chief was visibly disappointed, and the rest of the evening went by without any particular incident or extravagance. I mean, how many parties do you get invited to? We've got to bring your own food. That's ridiculous. 
That's not a party, that's a picnic. The night was quiet and peaceful. The following morning I woke to face a crowd of natives. It seems my snoring amused them. There was certainly a delicate balance between peaceful communication and offending these particular natives. Indeed. Can we rest once more? We unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire. The people of the tribe were celebrating the maturation of one of the boys. He looked quite grown already. He had to sing a strange guttural song. They tried to tease me into participating in the ritual to prove my worth. I say okay. Boom. Hear me roar. I mastered their challenge and had to lie down for a moment. One of them patted me on the back. I felt like I made a friend today. Aww. So let's put our sanity up. So we're back to neg negative two. Let's see what he's got. I don't think we need anyone. I agreed to the Beastmaster. This trade seemed to trader seemed to roam the area to catch some of the wildest local wildlife. He welcomed us and presented his selection of beasts locked away in massive wooden cages. Oh, so you have a tiger or a gorilla. Ah. Uh, except we can't actually check out their stats. Not that I would anyway. I wouldn't give up on pure pure Edmund. He's, he's a beautiful soul, you know. Oh dear. We got ready and departed as new adventures awaited us. The natives stared at me distrustfully as I departed their village. The subsequent day, I had the uncomfortable feeling of being watched. Oh dear. Alright, so I suppose now is a good time to use the uh, scrying bowl. Oh, that's a very close shrine. That is a very, very close shrine. I think we should promote Cyrus. I think if we promote Cyrus, we should get an extra die. Oh, it's a defense die. Oh, okay, never mind. And, uh, well, crack on, I guess. What is it to there? 42? Why not? It looks like that might be a spring, the way it's set up. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, so uh, we might as well rest. We'll get a little bit of healing on the go, although we don't really need the healing. I instructed the trek to halt to catch our breath. It was a warm and starry night. It was a calm night. For once I felt at ease with the wonders surrounding me. I considered my old companion, Brother Henry, and wondered on the nature of his fate. Why was he gone? We got rid of him. Would we meet him again in this world or the next? He probably froze to death. Why was I still here? Because we're playing all right this time. So we're going to be pretty close to Max. Yeah, that's close enough. Days went by pleasantly. The water sparkled in the sunlight as we prepared to leave. Bathing in the hot springs had astoundingly healed our wounds. Nice. So let's travel to there. Just so we can see if there is anything on the other side of this, uh, this little area. Looks pretty clear to me. See, that's the sort of place where the game would throw the pyramid in just to to bug you up it it looks like it wouldn't hold anything but then again it probably would be just to mess with you the game's like that sometimes look at the panther we're teasing the panther he can't get to us he can see us oh there's snarf rattle he can see us but he can't get to us boom shakalak we located a cage the rocky moor seemed to lead deep into the mountain we required a torch to uncover its mysteries we lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a small passage in one of the walls that seemed to lead into another part of the cave. Only one person could fit into the opening. I mean, it's a 50-50 chance times two. It's a 50-50 chance times two. Oh, we can rest for free in missions. It's probably... I, I, you know what? I'm, I really, really, really do not like this setup. I mean, the the dice, it's a 50-50 chance. But it's a big it's a big risk to take so early in the mission. We will not worry about that for the time being. We will, however, eat a couple of strawberries. Nice. 20% madness. No. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's read Les Prophecies. Plus 10 sanity. Can we get there now? Still 20%. Uh, we just won't climb the hill then. We'll probably head back to the... Oh. The spring, he says. Uh, you know what? Now's a good time to get the old campsite out. We'll get up to full sanity, then we'll head back to the spring if anything untoward happens. A shrine towered above us. Time had taken its toll on the structure. What remained of a narrow staircase led to the only entrance. 
I noticed that some of the areas of the structure were overgrown by some sort of abnormal fungus. Its growth was tumorous. Even looking at it made me uncomfortable. Uh, uh, this is going to be the things which come up and poison everyone, isn't it? I mean, we got the medikit, so we should be... Oh, you know what? Bugger it. Let's do it. We use the rope to safely heave ourselves up to the entrance. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. We found a stone altar. Stone? Altar? That we uncovered in ancient writings. Lots and lots of gold. Are we still being followed? We are. They're not going to be happy about this. I would not leave empty-handed. The treasure was ours for the taking. I wonder if we could harness the power of that fungus. The speed with which it spread was phenomenal. The land cracked and broke apart as the fungus spread. I did not want to stay to find out the fungus's effect on human skin. Oh, it's the... It's those evil, evil spiders, which we're going to have to take care of pretty much straight away. And I never used the camp. I set the bloody camp up, but I never used it. Oh, well, we'll use it now, I guess. Let's rest. Pyromaniac. While we stared into the campfire, Sergeant Cyrus Oliver stated that these lands deserve to be reborn through flame. I was unsure what he meant by that, and I was too tired to deal with this mischief presently. Cool. Uh, so let's rest again. Yeah, nothing interesting there. Just how we're all so good friends now with each other. Uh, once more... I enjoyed the warm night and took a moment to record our recent adventures in my notebook. I noticed Sergeant Cyrus Oliver watching me icily. Oh, he's so cold, that Sergeant. So cold. Uh, right, so let's pack up the camp. And uh, here we go. Attack the giant spiders. Right, so we've only got two. Ten health apiece. And what's that? Fangs, damage two, enemy bleeding. So that's losing one, I presume. Let, let's. Oh, bugger that. Look. Right, so fangs, we're going to do it. Right, we can do that. Uh, then we're going to do a swift kick in the nuts. That's down to five. Headbutt. We could stun him. Let's stun this one. That way he can't hurt us. We'll get the taunt on just in case. Going back to this one. If we were to throw one of those in. Damage of four. Plus the bleeding. That should be enough. Yep. Alright. So. Ten and nine even health. So, we're going to throw the stun on every time from here on him, and the taunt if we can do. That'd be you. Smash! Boom. Ripper leap. Tippity top. Right, we'll take it all. Why not? Three item slots over Verdeond. Okay. I mean, we've got the gorilla there as well as the spiders. That's a bit of a pain in the chuddies. Uh, we're only really going for Snarf Rattle now. We know where the both shrines are. It was only two shrines, wasn't it? Or was it three shrines? I mean, finding the mission would help at this point. But nobody is injured, so that's good. Uh, we will probably have to dismount at this point and, and still drop something, I feel. Two slots overburdened. Right. So what would I drop? Oh, we're going to drop. Oh, we don't need the meat. The meat can go. Um, I think the dynamite's going to come in handy. The torch is probably so as well. I mean, for the sake of 30 funds, do we just drop the jewels? No, we're not. We're going to drop less profiteers because it's rubbish. Boom. There we go. Decision made. Uh, we need to get up here and get over to Snarf Rattle ASAP and get ready to cancel that travel in case those bloody spiders come back. Stop. I press cancel. Oh. 
So Edmund's been poisoned. Well, that's not very good. That's not very good. Let's get the taunt up. We'll get the stun on the one. Move on to the next. Get a stun on to you. Move on to the next. Tactical advantage. Hmm. Is it time to throw in the bullets to create some more space? I think it is. So you and you cutting to the post. I'm not going to use you in case we get the handle up again. We're going to keep the art. Oh, no. Cut him a post. We'll hold on to you. Roll again. And that's our end of our round, isn't it? So. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it, technically, it is because we can't do anything else. Fine. Fine. Poisoned. How's Edmund holding up? He's doing all right. Half health, he's doing alright. Right, so once again we're going to... In fact, is that going to kill it if we do that? It is. So we're going to stun you. We'll taunt as well. We'll look at getting rid of you next, I think. Four. For five. It's a big ask. Well, no, I suppose it's not that big an ask. Uh, let's do it. Evade... Go on. There we go. Kick him in the nuts. He's stunned. That's one one person who can hurt us. What's he down to? Five. Roll. Strong claws. Taunt. Attack. And then what he, has he got left? Four. What's the kick in the nuts? Shield. Ech. I mean, <clears throat> we could get a headbutt here. Oh. I thought that was a headbutt. <gasps> oh, no, it's the red one. Oh, bugger. Uh, okay. Well, let's just leave it up to chance, and I suppose. Go! Look out. That'll do. Four health. Okay. We got this. We got this. Have some fangs, sunshine. Cool. Uh, we'll take it all. Right, so whilst we're here, whilst we are here, I've got a feeling that might be a mission. Uh, let us use our first aid kit and get Edmund back up to tip-top condition, as he is our tank. All right, so we went through the gate and were greeted by an old missionary. He was visibly relieved to see new faces, as he had been alone for longer than he cared to remember. He greeted Brother Abraham warmly and assured us that we were welcome to sleep within the safety of his walls at any time. Excellent. The priest permitted us to access to the, access to the mission storage room and promised that we would have all items dispatched to the civilised world for us if we were unable to retrieve them ourselves. <laughs> <sighs> Big breath. Right, let's get rid of all this gold. Don't need any of that. The jewels can go too. That's going to free up quite a bit of space is all good the rest i'm pretty happy with in all fairness cool what you got to trade son uh more medikits could probably come in useful i mean what would i get rid of the the spider legs i guess how more expensive are these they're actually not which is good for us very very good so how many spider legs do you want eight Eight? Do I get a whiskey for that? Oh no, he likes his whiskey. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh you know what? You can you can you can keep the extra bit of goodwill. That's fine by me. Uh so we're all good for medicates now. And let us rest as well. The priest was glad to have some company and let us recover in the security of his mission. He spoke of a hidden region where a remarkable array of elephant graveyards was situated. However, we were warned of the occasional appearance of cunning beasts that protected the area. We marked a spot on our map for our next expedition. The remainder of the evening was uneventful and we soon drifted off to sleep. Lovely. Uh, once more, just because we can, the priest scurried off and quickly came back with several bottles of whiskey that he wished to share with us. No, no, no. We politely refused the offered alcohol. We had to keep our senses keen as we planned to get up early the next morning. 
cool. And we're good. At least this is somewhere we can we can hold up, worst case scenario. I mean, as far as the, the, um, the spiders are concerned, they're not causing too much of a hassle right now. I think we just crack on and we'll just deal with them as and when they come around. Uh, we're going to be able to get some hyenas here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, attack the hyenas. How many? Six. All relatively at low health. Let's see how we roll, I suppose. So, Taunt goes up first. I mean, do I just throw the defensive on at this point? Tactical advantage. Outstanding tactics. I feel we should probably save our spears and dynamite for when we really need it. We've got the taunt up, so that's fine. So that's four. Repost. Uh, almost kills him. And back onto you. Come on! So that, hopefully that's enough to stop us getting mauled severely. Yep. Once more. So we've got another one there. Well, let's pop that on you. And then we could probably finish these guys off. Maybe. We'll headbutt you. I should have headbutted this one. Bugger. Um, we'll hold on to you and roll again. Precise attack for three. Do we have another roll in this? We do. We've got the taunt. Let's do the taunt first. Right, so. You, you and you. Shield to the post. Oh, he's bleeding. Bugger. Alright, so strong claws on you. And a flank on you. Chippity chop. Oh, high in your pelts. I'll take it all. Alright, on to the next. What's this? A cave? Oh! It's the temple. It's the temple. I take it that means the pyramid's going to be in the other region. But of course it is. Let's explore. After a long day of travelling, our trek arrived at a majestic temple that was carved into a mountain. This was seemingly a sacred place for the people living in these lands. A large opening led inside. We carefully entered a well-preserved ceremonial chamber. A massive platform stood in its centre. We saw a granite goblet containing a clear liquid standing in the centre of the altar. Intuition told me that one of our numbers should drink from it. Oh, OK. Well, it's either Barabraham or Cyrus Olivier. I mean, we get sanity from from killing stuff, which is pretty good. But this guy's got higher sanity at the start, and uh, we get to rest in missions, which is usually really expensive. So I think we probably risk Cyrus over this. Oh, I told Sergeant cyrus oliver to drink from the strange chalice he protested initially but then took a few long sips until the chalice was emptied he put down the chalice and unintentionally almost crushed it with his hands drinking from the potion seemed to have tremendously increased his strength and he was now more than willing to carry a few more crates nice the moment we left at the temple a, a granite block lowered behind us and sealed the portal there was no way back inside oh okay well on we go i guess where are you, Snarf Rattle? You're making this incredibly difficult. Attack Snarf Rattle the Hyena. Are we, are we actually prepared for this? Is this is this a, a good idea? You know what? We should probably upgrade Edmund. An extra taunt. That's probably good for us. Uh, well, let's do it. Three rolls left. Uh, Snarf Rattle has 16 health. Well, how many dice does he have? Three. Okay, so I guess the order of the day here is to probably throw in a dynamite. Let's throw in a dynamite. Six damage, group damage of three, multi-attack. Or we do a planned explosion, multi-attack of, of four. 
and bring a lot of them down. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Throw up the taunt and then just look at killing off the little ones quickly. And then if we can get a stun out of this, I'll take a strong claw. What's that? Eight? Give me a defense. Bastard. Two, four, six health and bleeding. Wow, five. Whew. He needs to die this time around. He's down to half. Uh, I mean, it's not a lot by itself, is it? Precise attack of three. We'll roll. Let's get a taunt up. Headbutting for one stun. Hold on to these again. Got another stun there. That might kill him. Ooh, two. That's all right. We got him. We got him. Boom. Hunt down and kill the legendary hyena of Snarf Latel. Timothy Tart. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Uh, which is everything, as it stands. Awesome. So we have done our little mission, which is what I wanted to do. I think this is going to probably be a two-parter. There's no point in me carrying on. We haven't found the pyramid yet. We've got no inclinations of where the pyramid might be. There's going to be a hell of a lot of spiders to kill in the meantime as well. Probably starting with one in the next episode. So yes, we shall leave it here. You know what we'll do? We'll heal up Edmund. He deserves it. There we go. So everyone, oh dear. After Sar Sergeant Cyrus L Oliver set a fire onto uh, the ground behind us, um, is ready to rock. So we, we shall pick it up here in the next episode. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.